Good morning everybody, welcome back to another video. So as you guys can see, I'm here at the warehouse. It has felt a great waking up every morning and having a place to come to, to do work. It's honestly been so amazing and so happy that how decided to venture out on this and just do it. Big shout out to Alex from Lay Space as well because he was the one that kind of like said that we definitely need this because working at home was really starting to become really, really draining. But today I have some embroidery to do. I'm falling a bit behind on essential pieces and there's some influences I need to get done. Also, I am definitely going to finalize the bandana design. I think I'm gonna go with the square design because I did like a little questionnaire to some people and big shout out to Anita because she was the one that suggested this. So the reason why I'm gonna go with the square is because a lot of dogs these days wear the harnesses, which I've started to get honey and Biggie wearing the harnesses as well. And when you wear a harness, you don't really wear a collar, which is totally true. So when you have the bandana, you just tie it up. And if you do like the collar style bandana, it's just like, doubling and yeah it's just just it's just a lot easier doing the square one so i'm gonna go with that it's pretty time consuming to sew but i'm gonna get the final prints and designs done today so i can start posting photos and getting it ready to launch hopefully next week let's start the day let's go see what how's up to good morning guys so i'm at ktm motorworks today I actually didn't get my car serviced because it needs to service. I service the car every 5,000 Ks because I'm running E85, so that means the oil needs to be changed as regularly as possible, and I need to change spark plugs. So, let's enjoy today. And also, I'm rocking the new KTN Motorworks t-shirt. Look how cute this is. Guys, don't know, Philly actually made these t-shirts for them, so shout out to Philly for doing some really, really good work. Today, also, uh, what you guys don't know, I literally just um, made a deal with Edwin, so I'm gonna do a whole bunch of sneaker reviews at the sneaker launch, at Secret Sneaker Store. So me and him are gonna work together as much as possible to give him a bit of promotion for his store and a bit of promotion for my YouTube channel, or me and Philly's YouTube channel. All right, let's go, come on. Okay guys, so I'm gonna change my lug nuts because these are the ones that are currently on it and they're really ugly. And I've got brand new all black ones. I'm literally doing it myself because there's something I can do whilst the car just sits here and does nothing. I know we've showed you guys this, but we got these desks from like Kmart. Literally each one was like $30 or like a little bit more and we conjoined it so we bought 369 desk but the annoying thing is because they're all individual every single time like every morning when I get here they're not aligned and it's giving me mad OCD especially like over here and I need to show you guys on this side it is Jamie's one it is honestly the worst one like his one just sticks out and then it's just like so many gaps and stuff because of the cords so we do have to fix that but every morning i'm always trying to like push it to make it straight and not like so many gaps i'm honestly thinking about like if we should somehow glue it together or cable tie it or something just so that it stops like getting gaps like these ones should not be like this and i just keep like pushing them in whenever i see it it's so frustrating and then oh look look at this now there's an even bigger gap because of it just finished doing some embroidering, but I'm really annoyed because this one just did not work out at all. For some reason, the embroidery machine setting was just not right. Like the bobbin case, it was too loose and like everything is just really, really messy. So I'm not happy with this pet hoodie at all. So I'm going to have to redo it again. And then this one is just going to go into the pile of like spares and extras to test on. But I'm just so annoyed. Luckily though, I did a second one and I got it fixed. I'm about to go pick up some food. I'm really nervous though because I'm gonna literally leave for like 10, 15 minutes. But within that time frame, I'm scared one of our courier drivers is gonna come and then I'm gonna miss him. So I'm thinking of putting like a little note for him to leave on the door. Bum ba -da -da. lunch is served and I got myself fish and chips. Yes, this is just like their normal lunch pack. I ended up saving a lot of money because I got this last time on Uber Eats and I got like a dinner pack for two or whatever, which was okay. It was kind of worth it. But then when I went to go get just a lunch pack for myself, it ended up costing $20 with the delivery fee. It was $15 for the pack, $5 for delivery. And I'm like, that is just so expensive. So I Googled them online and their lunch pack is literally like $7.80. So I saved 
over like 12 13 dollars just to go pick it up it was definitely worth it i left the pups here by themselves and i'm pretty sure they were good they were kind of just hanging out at the door but it was your first time at the warehouse by yourself honey she is just licking my fingers because of food back at the warehouse me and philly now are sorting out all the spare stock that we have that we're going to put online because these are all display stocks from every pop-up that we've done next time babe i don't think we should pull out that much stock yeah definitely not so what we tried to do was for after melbourne we were going to bring those open stock to sydney but then we kind of just gave up <laughs> yep that is correct that's why we have so much leftover stuff because we did one of each size of each style so yeah let's go I need to show you guys something I got custom made, which was really insane. Ready guys? One, two, bam. Look at that. A custom doormat. So sick. It's actually the ones that you need for the front of your house. So it's not like a carpet one, it's full textured. Oh, it's so good. And this is embossed into it. Like there's layers in this. So sick. I'm thinking about doing these or either just proper carpet ones, but this one here is just for the warehouse. Well, I'm at the Secret Sneaker Store, gonna film a whole bunch of videos for Edwin. No, it's actually for us. It's for us. It's for you. And I'm trying to find the best spot to put this camera. And I'm feeling this is good, but I don't wanna be standing behind that counter. I sort of want Secret Sneaker Store to be in the background somehow. So it's like this, maybe. Where? You don't have enough, see, but like, See, but if I put it here, there's no secret sneaker store sign. People will know. No, but it doesn't matter. Like, it's for people who don't know as well. Because I have a lot of subscribers that are not oh, just okay. from Australia. Well, mm, do you want to sit? Uh, I'll adjust the light for you. How about you? But how's that going to do with anything with secret sneaker store? I don't, like, you could stand here and then your light could be... No, look at this. No, that makes no sense, see? Because Secret Six Store is so small. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Tripping on my own shot. No, it doesn't need to be, like, I just need to cancel shadows. So there's like a... I'll just point that one. I'll point both sides at you. Let's just make this a studio. Testing. That is a wrap for the Secret Sneaker Store for today, just for today. I'm going to be coming here more often, more regularly, more frequently uh, yeah, really to film more videos really because this is the place where I, I really don't want to start spending money on buying a lot of pairs of shoes just to do reviews for you guys. So the great thing about me and Edwin, we are great friends wherever, there, there he is. Um, and we are able to make to agreement that I can come here and do whatever I sort of feel like which is great because you guys love the sneaker reviews and love the clothing and fashion stuff and this is the best spot that you can possibly do it and it's so like photogenic or videogenic or whatever. Anyway, I'm pretty hungry. I'm gonna see what I'm gonna do now. Well anyways guys, that is the end of another video. Thank you so much if you've made it this far. I also wanted to say a big thank you to everyone that supported us over the last couple of months. Everyone that came to our cocaine pop-up stores in Melbourne, Sydney, Brisbane, and especially to those that ordered online for the last two drops. We had so many international orders as well. A lot from like Canada, Netherlands, always a lot from the United States, Singapore. It was actually so insane. And it's so exciting when we get to send things international because we know that our brand is going to be worn to other people in another country which i still can't believe but thank you so much for all the support i know lately we have been a little bit slack on social media our upload upload times haven't been like on point and every single day and especially on instagram we haven't really been uploading on there we do need to take more photos and all of that stuff so we will get back into routine very very soon it's just been super super busy but i promise more videos are coming. Hal's also been doing a lot of the videos at Secret Sneaker Store. So he's got a lot of content videos coming out. Anyways, we'll see you guys in the next video. As always, give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And comment down anything you want to know below. We'll try coming back as many as we can. Bye, guys.